So question nine seems a bit verbose and it's a little wordy. That's why we like to kind of, you know, read these things, think about them, and perhaps try and draw a sketch of what's happening here. So we're asked to find the equation of a line. Find the equation of the line that goes through a particular point. So here's some point at positive 21 and then positive 8. So here's this point right here. This point is at 21 comma 8. So I'm trying to find the equation of a line that goes through that point and it has another property, right? It has to make a right angle. It has to be perpendicular to the line negative 3x plus 5y equals 20. So if I, if I wanted maybe a better look of what this line looks like, I perhaps might want to rewrite it so that it's in y-intercept form. So that would be very beneficial, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add 3x to both sides, right? I have equal things, and I'm adding positive 3x to both sides. So I get this, right? y 5y rather equals positive 3x plus 20 and then I could divide everything by 5 that would give me that y would equal 3 fifths times x plus the number 4. Now what's nice about that is I now know the slope of this line right there's some line that has a y-intercept that's um, at 4 and it goes up three units and then over five units, right? Up three over five. So I don't know exactly where this line is, but there's some line here that has a particular slope. And I'm supposed to find the line that is perpendicular to that line. And there's lots of those, right? All of these lines are perpendicular to that line. They're all making right angles. But I have to find the line that's perpendicular to this line, and it also has to go through this point. So there's two things, right? It's not just perpendicular to that line because there's lots of those, but it has to be perpendicular and it has to go through this this point right here. So two things, right? If if lines are perpendicular to each other, right? If lines intersect and form right angles, it has to be the case that their slopes have this special relationship, right? Their slopes are opposite in sign and the reciprocals. So this line, right? has a slope of three-fifths. So that means the slope of the line that we're looking for, right, this line would have to have a slope that equals negative five-thirds. So it, it's decreasing. And I think we have all the pieces we need, right? So, so the two things are is we know the slope of the line and we know that it goes through this point which is fabulous because that point contains both an x value and a y value. So I think now we can find the equation of the line that we want, right? Um, and I'm going to do it two ways. I'll do it the way that we've customarily been doing it, and we might then look at another option. So what we've been doing is looking at this, y equals slope times x plus b. So one of the things we know is that... Um, this is the equation of a line. It's called slope-intercept form because I can see both the slope and the y-intercept. Um, we do not know the y-intercept. It's, it's if you follow this line off, it's it's way off here somewhere, right? So it could probably be, it could be a fairly large number. We don't know what b is, but we need to figure it out. But we do have a y value, right? The y value of the point that we have. This point has a y value of eight, so we're going to plug in that y value. We know that our slope is negative 5 thirds. And we also have an x value, right? This x value right here is the number 21. And then I've got plus the number b. Well, when I look at that, I can see 21. I can write it like this. This is equal to negative 5 times 21 all over 3 plus b. Well, 21 divided by 3 is the number 7, so this turns out to be the number negative 35 plus b. And don't, don't forget, we've got this 8 here as well. So in order to get b by itself, I'm just going to add 8 to both sides, which gives me 43, I believe. If I add 35, 8 plus 35 is 43, is what b is, right? So... Now I have what I really need to write the equation of the line. I have both the y-intercept, which is at positive 43, and I could kind of see that it would be 
up somewhere like that. And I've got the slope as well. So we can write the equation of this line. The, the equation of this line is y equals negative 5 thirds x plus the number 43. And um, the, the one thing I could do to kind of check this is it, it has to be the case that this has a slope that's opposite reciprocal to the line I was given. And you can see, yes, this slope was 3 fifths. This one is negative 5 thirds, right? So that checks the slopes are indeed slopes that would be consistent with perpendicular lines. And the other thing that has to be true is if I plug in the number 8 in, oh no, I'm sorry, if I plug in 21 in that equation, it should give me 8. So just to verify, I'll go ahead and go negative 5 times what 21 is x, and then I'll divide by 3, and then I will add to that. Um, plus 43. Hmm. And when I do that, I get the number 8. So yeah, when I plugged in uh, 21, it gave me 8. So this equation that I found satisfies, you know, the two known things that had to happen. Um, it is indeed perpendicular to the original line, and it uh, satisfies this point that we gave, that we were given. So again, when you see questions like that, um, we know that perpendicular lines have to have opposite reciprocal slopes. If lines are parallel to each other, they would have to have equal slopes. Um, so if I told you that we were looking for just alternately a line that went through this point that was parallel to the original line, in that case, I would be using, again, exactly 3 fifths, right? So instead of getting the opposite reciprocal, this would be the slope that I would be using. Um, and again, there's off to the side here, I've placed some, some notes from our textbook. These are the um, from some of the math note sections. You might want to consider looking at these and kind of reviewing um, what they said. I like this, this problem right here. This is asking you to find the equation of the line represented by this table. They're telling you, first of all, it is a line and then also asking you what's the equation of it. A, a nice clue is, of course, they're giving you the, the y-intercept, right, when x is 0, y is negative 4. But you would still have to find the slope and, and do more. So um, you might consider reading through and reviewing those notes. But let's get back to, that's it. That, we were done with question 9. So our answer is y equals negative 5 thirds x and then plus 43.